Hey guys, welcome back. This is the District Championship Criterium. Been looking forward to this one. This is in downtown Davis this year. It's a six corner crit. You can see in the map my GPS is going a little haywire. But um, it's a technical course. It's short too, so I mean, even the longest straightaway, you don't really have a lot of time to uh, get up to speed. Kind of see that reflected in my in my not so impressive stats there a minute ago. Um, average power, normalized power, not super high, but um, I did spend a whole lot of time over 500 over 500 watts, according to my Strava. It was like over 10% of the race. Um, almost 20% of the race was spent over 410 watts. So it's just sprinting out of corners, trying to maintain position, and then uh, just trying to save as much energy as you can through each one of these these uh, technical corners and um, short straightaways. The course has these crowned roads too, and it's really on paper, it shouldn't be a, um, a very difficult crit, a very dangerous crit, but there, it's it's crash prone just because it has crowned roads, um, these these sh really short straights into a um, bunch of 90 degree turns, and people a lot of times will high side their bike or um, clip a pedal and end up in the curb. And also there's there's one section on the backside where uh, the the road uh, narrows right into right right before the corner. So a lot of people get that wrong, and you see some some big pileups. Fortunately. Um, there weren't any, any this year, at least in our field that I saw, and uh, and uh, that's nice. I mean, maybe something happened behind me, but from what I heard, nothing nothing really considerable. So um, anyway, uh, we had we had all seven of our elite guys out today, which is awesome, and uh, we had a plan coming in too. There was like 90 pre-regged, sorry, there was like 60 pre-regged riders and something like 90 showed up and it's it's district so everyone everyone wants to win this race and uh we stuck with with what works we um we were gonna send there's justin on the right right there you, you won't see him in a minute because uh we were planning on sending the breakaway guys up the road and i was gonna sit back with um with matt hopefully fresh and uh we were gonna play the the lazy sprinter card and um let the breakaway guys get away uh basically what we did a dash for cash if you didn't see that check out my video on dash for cash we won it it was awesome and um and uh, i saved a lot of energy early on and i uh, was able to uh to have a big sprint in the end because of that so so we were trying to play the similar card if it came down to a field sprint and if not get our breakaway guys up the road all right i have fast forwarded uh over an hour <laughs> into this race because gonna be honest with you not a whole lot happened um on my end uh, but our plan, our plan worked. So, so Justin um, ended up in the break really early on with a Mike Spikes rider, Steven, and he's really fast. And uh, Justin is uh, probably one of our best breakaway guys. So we were totally content with that. And there are, there are like, th what, three or four other full teams in this race, like, like eight or nine rider teams in this race, who um, had an obligation to bring it back because they missed it. I mean, even even the host team, uh, Davis, they missed it. They had an obligation to bring it back and were unable or unwilling to bring it back. So, um, so that's kind of how this played out. At this point, um, the break, we have five laps to go. Uh, the break is still uh, probably 25 seconds, 30 seconds up the road. At one point, they even had close to a minute, 55 seconds. And there was tons of confusion because oh there goes uh, there goes Chris my teammate Chris Kane he's he's gonna take a flyer with with five laps to go seeing if he can make something happen maybe bridge up or maybe just make make people chase him down um, again more reason for me just to, to to sit in the pack and and relax and and have a good draft but uh but like I was saying got a teammate up the road um, in the main break of the day he's been up there the majority of the day and. Uh, my role at this point is to um, to sit in, stay towards the front. So, I've, so I'm, I'm going to start moving up towards the front here. Um, I'm pretty close to the front now. Again, it's, there's there's 90 people or so in this race. So there's there's a whole lot of people behind me, and um, it gets all strung out because of the nature, the, the technical nature of this course. So it there could be like a 30 second gap between the front rider and the rear rider when it's all um, 
when it's all single file like this. But uh, we're going to stay towards the front in case people decide super late in the race that they're motivated to bring back the, the break... Uh, to break up the road. Oh, and I should mention one other rider did bridge earlier on. Um, from uh, unattached rider bridged up to the break of two, so so it's actually three at this point. And that was the one mistake we made in this race as a team. We probably should have uh, have been on that. And that's that's Robert Skinner, again from the the Dash for Cash video. He was the guy that initiated the the bridge when I got across to the breakaway. Um, I stayed on his wheel knowing he's he's super strong guys and he he has no no real problems like soloing across to a breakaway super hard effort and um i should have known that and i should have um, been on his wheel or a teammate should have been on his wheel gotten a free ride up to the, the break of two easier said than done but that was probably the one mistake we made in the race um if anything if, if, if nothing else it would have discouraged robert from from bridging across if he had one of us on his wheel not not willing to do any work so this is the back section. So the right side here is a, is a pretty pretty good draft, but it's bumpy. And we're only three laps to go here, and uh, you can see what it's like moving up in a uh, District P12 Elite Championship crit. It's it's not easy. You got to stay on it, or else you'll get swarmed. And um, you got to be you got to be pretty aggressive. You got to have sharp elbows to to maintain position. And if you lose focus, you'll just get swarmed and and uh, go from you know tenth wheel to to thirtieth wheel in like one corner. So, looks like uh, Oak Valley Community Bank missed it. They have Josh as their big sprinter. He's on my on my wheel right now, my rear cam, and he is uh, one of the major threats for the field sprint. And uh, so is Chris Reichert on Team Mike's bikes. But again, Team Mike's bikes has a guy up the road, so um, they're not going to they're not going to chase. And I am just making sure that if if we do catch that break of, of 3 up the road, then um, I am in position for a field sprint. And I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of licking my chops right here. I'm thinking, you know what? I, it might be be brought back because gr a group of 3 been out all day, they're tired. Um, they might start playing games with each other. And uh, we're not getting time checks anymore, um, and we can start to see those that group of three up the road on the long start finish straightaway. So, so I'm thinking there's still a chance for me. See, it's getting risky here. Like this is pretty sketchy, and um, and it's just hard. It's just hard to to maintain position without without bumping shoulders and elbows at this point in the race. But uh, I'm maintaining good position here still, and I'm thinking at the very least I can. Um, Go for the field sprint for fourth. Not what I wanted, but um, got a teammate up the road in Justin, and he's super strong. So, uh, so we're we're still happy with our chances here. Cliff missed it. A main missed it. Davis missed it. Cycle Sport missed it. California Team California missed it. All right, coming into two laps to go, and yeah, they missed. They just missed the boat, and uh, I don't understand why these teams don't don't chase I saw some some individual riders on the front some people trying to bridge solo but really it just it needed to be a chase and um, you bet I mean if, if we missed it you can guarantee we'd be at the front chasing rotating chasing because that's the race and that's what you got to do to bring it back but um, fortunately we don't miss too many breakaways we um, have aggressive breakaway style riders who that's how they win races from a breakaway Justin's one of them so here we are, um, with two laps to go, about a lap and a half to go, and um, I'm pretty happy with my position here. I can see all the all the strong sprinters now are towards the front, and I'm surprised right here. I'm surprised that I was able to take the inside line right there. It was a little bit risky, but but that's the sheltered line, and also um, oh, so there goes Chris, and I'm kind of boxed in right there for a second. And I have to, f I have to chase Chris down right here. So I basically have to burn all my matches right now. Um, my heart rate is just spiked, and I'm, st I'm still doing a really hard effort. Not even really getting a big gap, but this is, this is my race now because if Chris, if Chris Reichert, uh, on Mike's up there with the gold wheels, if he, if he gets across, I have to have representation because that's, this is a potentially race-winning move. It's it's probably not a race-winning move, but um, we're in the last lap, and I can't let 
I can't just sit up and let this get away. So um, I get on it before I even have a chance to, to to pull through or anything. There goes there goes the big counter move, and um, I'm dusted. I mean that's that's about it. I know that I know that it's up to to, uh, to Justin now up the road, my teammate, and um, I kind of think about trying to jump back on here, but it's just moving too fast, and I burn all my matches bridging up to that move to Chris, and um, that's it. I pull the plug. So sorry guys, not super exciting for me this race. But like I said, somebody from our team had to cover that move from Chris Reichert, and I was in the perfect position to do that. It was, it was something we had to do. I could have sat back, rolled the dice, and field sprinted for, for fourth, but it just wasn't, wasn't worth it. And fortunately, up the road, Justin took second, so that's an awesome result. Big time race like this, and uh, awesome to be uh, represented in the breakaway all day, so, so good work, Justin. Um, but I do have big races coming up, so uh, so I'm going to have a lot more content on the channel. Have a couple of races this weekend, race the following weekend, and then a 10-day stage race. So so uh, check out the channel, uh, hit subscribe, and uh, thanks for, for tuning in to another race, guys. See you soon.